Recording in progress. Good evening, everybody. I'd like to welcome you to the White House City Council meeting of March 7th, 2023. Uh, if you would, please rise for a moment of silence, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> anyway. Ms. Ogg, would you please call the roll? Bailey, Dixon, Elmore, present. Connison, present. Cantor. Present. Peck. Present. Smith. Mm. Present. President Potter. Present. Mr. President, I'd like to make a motion to excuse the absent members, please. Second. There's been a motion by Mr. Cantor, second by Ms. Smith, to excuse the absent members. Is there any discussion? Ms. Hogg, please call roll. Elmore? Yes. Connison? Yes. Cantor? Yes. Peck? Yes. Smith? Yes. The absent members have been excused. At this point, I would accept a motion for the approval yes. of the February 21st, 2023 agenda and regular meeting minutes. Mr. President, I'd like mm -hmm. to make a motion to approve the minutes. Second. <laughs> There's been a motion by Ms. Connison, seconded by Mr. Cantor, to approve the minutes. Is there any discussion? Ms. Ogg, please call the roll. Elmore? Yes. Connison? Yes. Cantor? Yes. Peck? Yes. Smith? Yes. The minutes have been approved. At this time, it's our first poll public of the evening, and I would invite anyone who would like to come forward. If you would, just state your name and your address, and you have up to three minutes. I'll take that. He's not coming up. Nobody's coming up. <laughs> so that we will now move into our standing committee reports. Administration and financial management. Uh, Chairperson Bailey is not with us this evening, but Ms. Cottleson has volunteered her duties. Thank you. Administration and financial management did meet last week. Unfortunately, I was not here. Um, but their minutes are on file, and we'll meet again next week. Thank you. Community and Elder Advocacy, uh, Chairperson Dixon is not with us this evening, so I am volunteering Ms. Heck. Oh, thanks for volunteering. Um, <laughs> community and Elder Advocacy met last Tuesday. Our minutes are on file. Um, we will meet again this coming Tuesday sometime after 6.30. Thank you. Community Standards and Enforcement, Chairperson Smith. Thank you, President Potter. Community Standards and Enforcement also met last week. We have Ordinance 13-2023 for its second reading. Um, there will be a public hearing on March 21st. Um, our minutes are on file, and we'll meet again next week. Very good. Economic Development, Chairperson Cantor. Thank you, Mr. President. Economic Development met last week. The minutes are on file, and we will meet again next week right here after 6 30. Thank you. Infrastructure, Maintenance, and Services, Chairperson Thomas. Thank you, President Potter. Infrastructure, Maintenance, and Services also met last week. Thank you to whoever took that over for me. Um, our minutes are on file, and we'll meet again next week around 6 30. -ish. Thank you. Public Safety, Chairperson Elmore. Thank you, Mr. President. Public Safety did meet. Thank you for whoever represented Public Safety at that time. I'm sure the minutes are on file. We will meet again next Tuesday. Very good. Parks and Recreation, Chairperson Heck. Thank you, Mr. President. Parks and Recreation met last Tuesday and minutes are on file. We have one piece of legislation tonight, Resolution 9, 2023, and we will be meeting again this coming Tuesday sometime after 6 o'clock. Very good, thank you. Official reports, Mayor Mag. Good evening. Uh, I would like to ask for favorable consideration of ordinances five and six for third reading. And I'd also like to remind everybody about the state of the city tomorrow, uh, beginning at 6 p.m. at uh, Whitehall Park YMCA. And uh, you should come because it's going to be a rocking good time. <laughs> so, so please come. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, City Administrator Woodruff. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I have no official report this evening. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, City Attorney Bivens is not with us this evening. Uh, City Auditor Quinzel. Thank you, Mr. President, members of council. I have no official report. Just ask for your favorable consideration of Ordinance 15, 2023, and uh, Resolution 11, 2023. Thank you. Uh, Director of Public Service. Greg is not with us this evening, nor is our treasurer, Mr. Alexander. Uh, the following official reports have been filed in the council office since our last meeting, and that would include the mayor's report to council for January 2023, the auditor's expense report for January and February 2023, the auditor's bank reports for January and February 2023, 
the auditor's statement of cash position reports for January and February 2023, and finally, the auditor's revenue reports for January and February of 2023. Other communications, petitions, and claims, we have three items. First being the notice of the Ohio Division of Liquor Control for a new D3 license from Golden House, or Golden Cafe House, LLC DBA Golden Cafe House, 200A South Hamilton Road, Whitehall, Ohio, 43213. Uh, the other item is agenda for the March 2nd, 2023 Whitehall Planning Commission meeting. And our final item is the minutes for February 2nd, 2023 Whitehall Planning Commission meeting. Uh, Ms. Hogg, would you please call roll as whether each member of council is given a copy of each item of legislation listed on the agenda prior to the meeting and including any add-on legislation. Elmore? Yes. Coniston? Mm. Yes. Cantor? Yes. Peck? Yes. Smith? Yes. Thank you. Under third reading, we have two items. First is Ordinance 5, 2023, accepting title to parcel 090-008416-00 for the Whitehall Community Improvement Corporation for use as a public park. Mr. President, I would like to introduce ordinance number 5, 2023, and move for its adoption. Second. There's been a motion by Ms. Heck, second by Mr. Cantor, to introduce ordinance 5, 2023, and for its adoption. Is there any discussion? Mr. President, if I could, just uh, want to make sure that people understand what this is. Uh, in the development of the Norton Crossing development, the Whitehall Community Improvement Corporation was a partner with Continental Real Estate on that development. As you all are aware, the Kelly Green Public Park was uh, constructed as part of that development. This ordinance merely transfers the title uh, of that piece of ground from the Whitehall Community Improvement Corporation, which should have happened previously, to the city of Whitehall. So again, just wanted to make sure people understood what exactly this piece of, uh, what this parcel was. Thank you. Thank you. Any other discussion? Ms. Ogg, please call roll. Elmore? Yeah. Coniston? Yes. Cantor? Yes. Peck? Yes. Smith? Yes. Ordinance 5, 2023 has been adopted. Ordinance 6, 2023, granting an easement to AEP Ohio on parcel 090-003-999-00 as described in attachment A. Mr. President, I'd like to introduce uh, Ordinance 6, 2023 and move for its adoption. Second. There's been a motion by Ms. Coniston, second by Mr. Cantor to introduce order 6, 2023, and for its adoption. Is there any discussion? Ms. Long, please call roll. Elmore? Yes. Coniston? Yes. Cantor? Yes. Peck? Yes. Smith? Yes. Order 6, 2023, has been adopted. Under second reading, we have several items this evening. First being order 12, 2023, making and approving a supplemental appropriation of $200,000 from unappropriated monies in the general fund 101 to the contingency expense account 101-950-59,900. Mr. President, I'd like to introduce Ordinance 12, 2023, and move for the suspension of all rules. Second. There's been a motion by Ms. Connison, second by Ms. Heck, to introduce Ordinance 12, 2023, and to suspend all rules. Is there a discussion? Ms. Ogg, please call roll. Elmore? Yes. Connison? Yes. Cantor? Yes. Heck? Yes. Smith? Yes. The rules have been suspended. Move to adopt. Second. Uh, motion to adopt by Ms. Coniston, second by Ms. Heck. Any discussion? Mr. President, if I could, just for the record, uh, again, wanted to make people aware, given the dollar amount, uh, what these funds in part will be used for. Uh, we intend to conduct an efficiency study of city operations uh, to convene city leaders to conduct and complete uh, a strategic plan for the city's future as well as uh, provide some additional funding to the Center of Hope so that they can expand their uh, food pantry and outreach to Whitehall residents in need. Thank you. Thank you. I would also like to add that the last uh, efficiency and strategic plan uh, was early 2012, so it is time that we go back and look at that. Thank so I just wanted to remind everyone, it's been a long time. Appreciate that. Any other discussion? Ms. Ogg, please call roll. Elmore? Yes. Coniston? Yes. Cantor? Yes. Peck? Yes. Smith? Yes. Ordinance 12, 2023 has been adopted. Ordinance 13, 2023 will be read by title only with a public hearing set for March 21st, 2023, making updates to Part 11, 
Planning and Zoning Code, Title III, Chapter 1120 through 1130 of the Whitehall Codified Code and outlined in Exhibits A, B, and C. Under first reading, we have several items. First being Ordinance 14, 2023, making appropriation of $35,000 from unappropriated monies in the General Fund 101 to the Payroll Administrator Expense Account 101.300.51,450 and declaring an emergency. Mr. President, I'd like to introduce Ordinance 14, 2023, and move the suspension of all rules. Second. There's been a motion by Ms. Connison, second by Ms. Smith to introduce Ordinance 14, 2023, and to suspend all rules. Any discussion? Ms. Ogg, please call the roll. Elmore? Yes. Connison? Yes. Cantor? Yes. Peck? Yes. Smith? Yes. The rules have been suspended. Motion to adopt. Second. Motion to adopt by Ms. Connison. Again, second by Ms. Smith. Any discussion? Ms. Ogg, please call the roll. Elmore? Yes. Connison? Yes. Cantor? Yes. Peck? Yes. Smith? Yes. Ordinance 14, 2023 has been adopted. Ordinance 15, 2023, authorizing and approving a fund transfer in the amount of $5,070 from unappropriated monies in the evidence set aside fund 245 to the law enforcement trust fund 241 and declaring an emergency. Mr. President, I'd like to introduce mm -hmm. ordinance 15, 2023 and move the suspension of all rules. Second. There's been a motion by Ms. Connison, second by Ms. Heck to introduce ordinance 15, 2023 and for suspension of all rules. Any discussion? Ms. Ogg, please call the roll. Elmore? Yes. Connison? Yes. Cantor? Yes. Peck? Yes. Smith? Yes. Ordinance 15, 2023 has been adopted. The next two pieces of legislation will be by title only, and that would include Ordinance 16, 2023, authorizing the expenditure of $45,000 for law enforcement trust fund account 241-000-50,000 for training and law enforcement needs. The uh, second is Resolution 8, 2023, to agree to an adjustment to the city's boundaries from consenting to transfer approximately four acres, plus or minus, from the city of Columbus to the city of Whitehall. Resolution 9, 2023, authorize the mayor to apply for and accept assistance from the Clean Ohio Conservation Program administered through the State of, Public, uh, State of Ohio Public Works Commission and declaring an emergency. Mr. President, I'd like to introduce resolution number 9, 2023, and move for the suspension of all Second. There's been a motion by Ms. Heck, seconded by Mr. Cantor, to introduce resolution 9, 2023, and for suspension of all rules. Any discussion? Ms. Ogg, please call roll. Elmore? Yes. Connison? Yes. Cantor? Yes. Heck? Yes. Smith? Yes. The rules have been suspended. Move to adopt. Second. Motion to adopt by Ms. Heck, seconded by Mr. Cantor. Any discussion? Ms. Ogg, please call roll. Elmore? Yes. Connison? Yes. Cantor? Yes. Heck? Yes. Smith? Yes. Resolution 9, 2023 has been adopted. President Potter, before we move on, on Ordinance 15, 2023, we didn't, um, we didn't adopt that. We just oh, I'm yeah. sorry, you're right. right. I had a question. Thank you. <laughs> we will now circle back. Thank you for catching that. Yes. Um, we were making eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> And I was Did not, I apparently. <laughs> um, Ordinance 15-2023 has been suspended and a motion to adopt by Ms. Connison, seconded by Ms. Heck. Now, any discussion? <laughs> okay. Ms. Ogg, please call the roll. Elmore? Yes. Connison? Yes. Cantor? Yes. Heck? Yes. Smith? Yes. And Ordinance 15, 2023 has been adopted. Apparently, I adopted my mind, but not <laughs> <All right. laughs> the substance. Oh, thank you again for that, uh, Ms. Connison. Yes. Resolution 10, 2023, appointing five electors <clears throat> of the City of Whitehall as members of the Charter Review Commission and declaring an emergency. Mr. President, I would like to introduce uh, Resolution 10, 2023, and move for the suspension of the rules, please. Second. There's been a motion by Mr. Cantor, second by Ms. Smith, to introduce Resolution 10, 20, 2023, and suspend our rules. Is there any discussion? Ms. Ogg, please call roll. Elmore? Yeah. Connison? Yes. Cantor? Yes. Heck? Yes. Smith. The rules have been suspended. Yes. Go ahead. Can, can Amy say wow. yes, please? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just getting ahead of myself all over the place tonight. You're good. I'm fine, though. Let's say it again. Yes. yes. Now they're yes. suspended. Yes. All right. Let's see if I can get this one right. The rules have been suspended. Are you ready, Mr. President? Mr. President, I let's move hold. for the adoption, please. Second. There's a motion 
for the adoption by Mr. Cantor, seconded by Ms. Smith. Ms. Ogg, we please call roll. Elmore? Yes. Thomason? Yes. Cantor? Yes. Heck? Yes. Smith? Yes. Okay. Resolution 10, 2023 has been adopted. Okay. Before we move on, I would like to ask the members of the Charter Review Commission to please stand up and introduce yourself. <laughs> not, to, not to put you on the spot, but it's everybody but that little kid right there. <laughs> yes, he's, he's a good one. He's honorary, yeah. Hi, I'm Shirley Drake. Hi, I'm Devin Brown. Thank you. Scott Pooch. Diane Peters. And Leslie Lafleur. And, <laughs> and on behalf of this council, we thank you very much and welcome you thank to you. this and uh, appreciate the, the work that you've got in front of you and uh, are looking forward to your findings. And I will be, we'll be having a separate meeting after this meeting, as you're aware. So, but thank you and welcome. Separate meeting after this meeting. Best of luck. <laughs> you enjoy it. And our final piece of legis uh, legislation this evening is Resolution 11, 2023, which is to resolving to approve the then and now certificates and declaring emergency. President Hunter, I'd like to introduce Resolution um, 11, 2023, and move the suspension of all rules. Second. There's been a motion by Ms. Coniston, second by Ms. Smith to introduce Resolution 11, 2023 at the suspension of all rules. Ms. Ogg, would you please call the rule? Elmore? Yes. Connison? Yes. Cantor? Yes. Peck? Yes. Smith? Yes. The rules have been suspended. Move to adopt. Second. Motion to adopt by Ms. Coniston, second by Ms. Smith. Any discussion? Ms. Ogg, please call the rule. Elmore? Yes. Coniston? Yes. Cantor? Yes. Peck? Yes. Smith? Yes. Resolution 11, 2023 has been adopted. This brings us to our second poll public of the evening. And again, the same rules apply. Very good. We'll now move on to community date board. Does anybody on the council? The mayor's already mentioned the state of the city state tomorrow the night. City tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Easter egg hunt. March 30th um, is a Thursday. Uh, will be the Easter egg stuffing. Stuffing before the hunt. Yeah, oh, the I thought you were saying the Easter egg hunt. Stuff. The way you yeah. said that, you said it like the Easter egg hunt was on a Thursday. I'm like, I mean, okay. <laughs> That's new. Is the stuffing still at the high school? The stuffing will actually be over at the Y. Okay, yeah. great. Such a little bit more room, we think. Your house? Not my, <laughs> not my house. <laughs> and we then the, the Easter egg hunt will be on April. Saturday, April 1st. Right. At Somebody 10 o'clock. Is that over the Y? April Fool's Day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody did put, was that an April yeah, Fool's joke? Yeah, I saw that. So that's not a funny joke. We have the groundbreaking of Discover, March 14th, 2 o'clock. Yes. 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 Correct. Absolutely. East Broad Street. Yes. Anything else for the date board? Well, then we'll go to poll council. And first is Ms. Elmore. Thank you, Mr. President. I want to thank our viewers. I want to thank those that are in the audience. Um, this is Women's History Month. And we have several women on the council that have made history in Whitehall uh, for being, what, four of us now? So I think that is a great accomplishment. Um, also, uh, congratulations to the Charter Review selected members. Um, you have a huge charge in front of you, and I'm sure you all do your due diligence to do the best job possible. And also I want to say, I know President Potter, you do a wonderful job. You make few mistakes. And I uh, just want that noted. Well, you well thank you. Good job with what you do. And uh, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Connison. Congratulations to our members um, out there. You do have a big job in front of you, but I know you will do well. I mm -hmm. uh, go over it with your due diligence. I want to thank um, so many people for all of their condolences for my sister. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, all of your thoughts and prayers. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Cantor. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you all for coming, and uh, good luck. You'll, you'll enjoy it. A lot of work. Put a lot of thought into it. Um, look forward to it. Um, I don't really have anything other than that. Girls, Daddy will be home soon. I love you. Can't forget Thank that. You. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Cantor. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, thank you for everybody watching at home. Thank you for everybody that came in. Um, congratulations to our members of the Charter Review Commission, and thank you for taking the time to be on the commission. And that's all I have. Thank you. Ms. Smith. Well, you're not this time I will not forget you. you. My favorite slot. Uh, thank you for those watching at home. Thank you, charter, new charter members, for 
volunteering your time to be a part of this process. Um, one of my first getting involved in the city was volunteering on the Master Steering Plan Committee, so it's a great opportunity to partake in our city's processes. Um, that's all I have. And I, again, would like to congratulate you and thank you uh, in advance for your hard work. Um, it will be, uh, I think, very eye-opening. Uh, I've had the pleasure of serving in the past as, as well, so I do have a flavor of what that's like, but a uh, very important role. So with that, Mr. President, motion to adjourn. Second. Vote! <laughs> <laughs> a motion was made by Mr. Cantor, seconded by Ms. Elmore, to adjourn the yeah. session. Ms. Ogg, please call the roll. Elmore? Yes. Thomason? Yes. Cantor? Yes. Pat? Yes. Smith? Yes. And we are adjourned. I <laughs> get <laughs>